Hi, I'm Rye Meyer. I'm a marine biologist, paddy dive master, and shark conservationist. I grew up in San Clemente, California, and on the North Shore of Kauai. Now I'm here with scuba.com to show you why I dive. As a child, I was a huge water baby. Um, I was taught to swim from a very young age, and as soon as I could walk, I was put on a surfboard. I have loved the water ever since I was little. I did competitive swimming, competitive water sports. I did junior guards for 10 years to learn about ocean and marine safety, and I absolutely loved it. What I remember most from my first dive was just being absolutely enthralled on how I could breathe underwater, and I was so confused on how this was happening, and I just really wanted to learn more about why is this happening, what's the process behind breathing underwater, and so I decided to get certified. The reason I decided to get PADI certified was because they're just the leader right now um, in terms of dive certifications and they take the most precautions and the most safety measures, which was something I was really looking forward to. What it means to me to be a PADI dive master means that I have a responsibility to keep myself and others who I bring into the ocean with me safe, as well as um, a responsibility to keep the ocean safe as well and have some type of conservation standpoint where I want to preserve the ocean for future generations. So today, I've probably done around 250 dives. My favorite dive that I've ever done has to be a Catalina dive. Um, I was diving with my dad in Catalina. We took a Catalina ferry over for the day and made two dives. It was absolutely stunning. The water was crystal clear. It was warm. It was sunny. The light shining through the kelp for us just looked absolutely beautiful. My top three dream dive locations have to be um, Thailand for all the beautiful soft corals, Australia because ever since I was a little kid I have always wanted to dive the Great Barrier Reef, and recently I want to dive in Iceland and do some ice diving because I think it's just a bucket list experience. interests me the most when I'm on a dive is obviously sharks. I love sharks because they're the perfect combination of nature's beauty and elegance with the world's perfect predator. Since I am a dive professional and marine biologist, I have the experience necessary to dive with them. So don't go diving with sharks unless you either are with a dive professional, a marine biologist, or with someone who's had lots of experience in that field. The gear that I literally can't live without and I have to take with me wherever I'm going on a trip is my mask and snorkel and my fins. So a mask and snorkel will literally make or break your dive. If I have an uncomfy mask or my mask is fogging up, I'm not gonna have a good time on the dive. The best part is that you can go to the scuba.com store in person and get your mask fit by one of the staff there who is well-trained and will help you find a mask that actually fits your face and won't fog up on you. When I finish my dive, I am just on top of the world. Literally all my friends will tell you that I come out of the water just smiling, under the water I'm smiling. It's just such an amazing feeling to be able to dive, and especially when you dive with someone, to share that experience that you have together, to just observe nature in the most beautiful and natural setting is otherworldly. The people that inspire me are, first of all, my parents. Uh, my mom has undergone a lot of challenges in her life and she's overcome every single one that's been thrown her way. My dad is another one of my huge inspirations. He is a huge waterman. He wakes up at 5 a.m. to go surf before work 
and you know, I just love the drive that he has about him and he's always told me that I can do whatever I want to do if I set my heart to it, that I just need to dream big. Another woman that inspires me is Christina Zanotto. Um, being a woman in STEM, you don't get as many female role models to look up to as you want, especially being in um, shark conservation science. But Christina is amazing. She does awesome work with sharks in the Caribbean. She was actually one of the first people to put Caribbean reef sharks into tonic immobility, which was just, at the time, mind-blowing. If you're thinking about getting uh, scuba certified, I highly suggest you do it. It's really rewarding, and even if you aren't totally comfortable in the ocean, you can still scuba dive. So, you know, to take those first steps, maybe go snorkeling with a friend in the ocean or go swimming. And if you still aren't completely 100% sure about it yet, if you just want to dip your toes in the water, you can take a Discover Scuba course at almost any scuba shop or hotel service um, where you'll just have one pool session, one ocean session to kind of just see what it's like instead of fully committing. If you enjoyed hearing about my dive journey, please like and subscribe to scuba.com to find out more about how you can start a dive journey of your own.